Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, June 10th, 2013. We're looking at uh, several major markets today, starting off with the U.S. And you can see, in the, looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart, and this is, of course, the three-month daily. So every one of these kind of represents a day worth of trading activity. Now, there's a couple things I want to point out today, and first of being uh, this area here, okay, on the chart. See how weak they were and how ineffective they were. You move to the downside was very short lived and we bounce back up and short lived and bounce back up, short lived, bounce back up. And then here. And then we can see that we have a stronger position here than we had in these places because obviously price is, is uh, moving lower uh, and much lower uh, than we'd seen before. And we're not seeing the same degree of strength and so forth and so on. So that's important to note. And I'll show you why this is happening in a minute. Uh, the, the situation that we have today is very simple. It's a uh, indecision by traders. Whenever you see these candlestick formations, a couple of things. A, it's a small candlestick formation. Note the previous one was very large. This one's very small, tight, compact. Uh, looks similar to this. Actually, intraday you would have had more of a sell signal than you have here. Um, and it's basically just a doji, kind of similar to this. And it just means indecision. And oftentimes it's a sideways moving situation where price doesn't really know what to do at that particular point in time. I will suggest that the price activity is actually favoring bears and so I want to explain that today and why you're seeing a favoring of the bears and how to examine that. Whenever you're looking at a chart, you have a bias. Everybody does. If you have a 401k, you have a vested interest in market prices going higher, right? So you are obviously biased. You prefer to see an up move. Uh, if you're a trader, whether you're long or short, you also have a bias. So you have money on the table. You have a, a reason to see a one direction or the other. To make sure you don't... Um, trade or and, uh, analyze stocks according to your bias, simply weigh it. And the way to do that is quite simple. Uh, just do the math. And in this particular situation, you have uh, a shooting star signal right here. So that would be at least one, two, three sell signals, one buy signal. Mathematically speaking, the chart clearly favors bears. Okay, That's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be simply look at the actual direction of price activity. You can see this comes down here, takes this low, all right, lower high from the previous, okay. So then we come down here, come up here at lower close, down here, and lower close. So all we're still seeing here is just the trend indicating that the um, bears have a stronger position at this point than bulls have. So again, that would be uh, favoring bears. Now, if I looked at other indicators like the ultimate oscillator, now I could see that the momentum here is peaking out at the 60 line currently. Now, you can say whatever you want is going to happen later, but currently the chart is favoring bears. Now, if we move lower down the chart, we say, go look at the uh, actual MACD, the MACD, the moving average conversion divergence line. You can see, let me get out the tools again. Mm -hmm. And it's close here. Once you break and you close down that direction, you can see that you've uh, got a rollover signal. So that's important to note. Longer term charts will be more important at this point because you can do like you've done here. You close this way, you close back that way, you close back this way. You can do a lot of that whiplash kind of stuff. So longer term charts can be more helpful there. But again, it would indicate favor in, uh, to the uh, bearish perspective. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the long-term chart, and this is the uh, two-year weekly chart. So every candlestick represents a week with the trading activity. That means the most current candlestick formation only has Monday worked into it, so we're not even going to consider that candlestick formation. What we're going to do is look at the long-term chart, and it's important. A lot of people are um, thinking that you can ignore the long-term chart. It doesn't matter. The short-term chart is what matters, and that's not actually the case. Uh, you need to look at the long-term chart to get the overall picture. Do you have a big move coming? Do you have a small move? Are you near support? Very um, A good deal of information can be gleaned from the long-term chart. And I'm going to show you how important that is. A few weeks ago, we talked about this signal here. We saw it on almost every uh, major market going around the globe, which is big, fat shooting star signal telling you that uh, you had a peaked basically and that's important and I will show you on I can show you on many charts and I have showed you before but this sell signal it's very important you remember that on the current time frame on the short term chart our sell signals are working a lot better than the previous ones remember the previous um, weakness that we saw on the chart I started selling it and it didn't go anywhere no shooting star signal during this time period right here and so during this time period you weren't seeing that sell signal on the long term chart and so it, it wouldn't um, explain a lot of the weakness or the of the signals that we were getting on the short term charts and those that didn't work out for us. Here again you're seeing that it is working very well and this is important. I also want to point out this hammer candlestick formation you're seeing right here. It's not the same thing as what you typically see. When you see a hammer at a bottom like this, meaning that you have sold off and then you form it, that's one thing. It's a buy signal. 
when you see it at the top of a pattern, like you have up here, after a nice round, it's a sell signal. So again, there's, there's no confusion here. You have sell, sell, uh, and that's very important. Over here, you can see, again, shooting star, and then again over here. And let's see, what we'll button. there's another one here. All right, and argued could be done here. All right, so these all are uh, very important because they, they've always shown up before a massive move to the downside. And so again, when we're looking at this one, we see we haven't done anything to the downside massively here. After a major move to the upside, I'd be anticipating a big move to the downside. Another thing that would help as far as calling the tops, make sure you want to call them at the top, not like a situation here when someone can say, oh, there's one there, we're going to go short. Well, it helps if you may have a bearish divergence formation where you have momentum is already rolling over. you got a high point, lower high. You can see this move here. While price activity during the same time period was actually trending up, it means that it's not sustainable. And so to get a sell signal at that point uh, would make a lot more sense. Here, we see the same basic overall story. We do a bigger one. And you can see prices doing that, sell signal, all of that is in line. There's no reason not to trust this chart on that sell side. Also, the MACD, which I talked about earlier, and told you that that would be more helpful on the uh, longer term chart. You can see that it precedes or follows, I should say, because it's derived from price, every sell off. So you can see here we've tightened up, preparing for a bigger move to the downside here. And then again, the previous one here, which you probably can't see, and then another one here, and then another one here. Okay, so it's it's a pretty good indicator of that. And you can see that we're tightening up, preparing for that cross. So again, this would indicate a bearish move. It's still coming. It's not already happened. Okay, now with the understanding of the long-term chart, let's look again at the Dow Jones Industrial Average short-term chart, and then we'll ask you a very simple question. Is this the place that you want to buy? Obviously not. I mean, is this the place you want to buy? Obviously not. It's not a situation that's confirmed by the long-term chart. As I've told you before, when both the short-term and the long-term chart are telling you the same thing, the uh, signal is that much stronger, and you should actually be taking it. You also notice that we made more money at this point in time because we had a long-term uh, sell signal to work with as well. So again, uh, it just proves the point. Uh, the main thing here I'd be pointing out again would be that price activity doesn't do anything at this point. It's just a bounce. All we've seen and we'll see on other charts is nothing more than a bounce. And that's something you want to be looking for. Entry opportunity on the sell side if you're not already there. We're already short here. The stop is still set off the high because we can still bounce up and test it and do different things. So uh, we'll keep uh, some distance under breathe. But uh, I would expect, like I've said before, uh, price activity to take out this level here. And once that's happened, um, uh, bulls will have seen the uh, the truth and they will realize oops we are breaking up. Okay, today's video got a bit long uh, just going over the Dow Jones Industrial Average so I'm not going to add any more charts to it. Uh, if you want to see my personal charts I update them nightly and I'll update them Europe and as you, in uh, the Europe charts as, as soon as they're updated on the, on the website here uh, and you'll have my personal annotations there. We're looking for sell signals in this market obviously Europe is uh, more uh, bearish than you're seeing in the U.S., so it's, it's an even clearer picture there. So obviously, you would be looking for shooting stars and things like that uh, for entry opportunity on the sell side. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on them, but I update them nightly here with my stop loss limits as well as my entry next exit signals, okay? So that's important. And also here in the trade school section, anything that you uh, don't understand in videos or you'd like to know uh, more about, you can simply go to the trade school section or study any of the chart pattern and tutorial videos that we have here. Okay, God bless. Enjoy the day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.